Hello students, welcome to the online classes of Sacred Art High School. Today we are going to study chapter 14, Light and the Formation of Shadows, part 2. Reflection of Light How do we see an object? The rays of light falling on an object from a source of light are thrown back from the surface of that object. When the rays of light coming from a source of light fall on an object, they do not pass through the object, instead they are thrown back from the surface of that object. This is called reflection of light. We see the object when the reflected rays reach our eyes. In which objects do we see a reflection? When you see your face in a mirror, the light reflected from your face falls on the mirror and gets reflected back. That is why you see the image in the mirror. The surrounding light falls on our face, but it does not pass through our face. Instead, it is reflected on the mirror. On the mirror as well, the reflected rays do not pass through the mirror and again they are reflected back. This reflected rays then reach our eyes and that is how we see our image in a mirror. Do you see your image in a glass pane of a car window? You do, although it is somewhat faint. No image will be seen at all on a wooden surface. What is the difference between an object and its reflection? An object is real and of a definite size which can be touched by a human. On the other hand, reflection can be erected, virtual, backward or magnified. Like, if we see ourselves in the mirror, then you are seeing the image in the mirror, which is virtual, but you are an object and your mirror image is a reflection. Images in a plane mirror An image is a visual representation of the external form of a person or a thing in an art. Let us study about this by doing three activities. Stand in front of a plane mirror and look at your image in it. First, raise your right hand. Which hand of the mirror image is raised? When you will do this activity, you will observe that your image has raised its left hand. It means that the left and the right sides of the original object appear to be exchanged in the mirror image. Next, what change do you see in the image? if you decrease or increase your distance from the mirror. Here, what you're supposed to do is move five steps closer to the mirror. Then you will see that your image is also closer. Now, move five steps back. Here also you will see that your image is also five steps behind. From this, we come to know that the image is as far behind the mirror as the object is in front of it. Next, is there any difference between your height and the height of the mirror image? No, the size of the image is the same as that of the object. Pinhole camera A pinhole camera is the simplest form of a camera. It makes use of a single tiny opening to focus light into a single point. It does not use any lens. The principle of pinhole camera is based on linear propagation of light, that is, light travels in a straight line. The image obtained in a pinhole camera is inverted and is smaller in size. Let us see how we can make or construct a pinhole camera. Take an empty cylindrical box, remove its cap on one side and paste a thin white paper in its place. Make a small hole at the center of the other cap. Light a candle and hold the box in such a way that the flame of the candle is in front of the hole. Now you will see an upside down or inverted image of the flame on the thin paper at the other end. Here a light ray from top of the candle falls on the thin paper as it passes through the small hole. Then a light ray from the bottom of the candle will then pass through the small hole and fall on the tracing paper at the top. Together, these points of light make up an image of a candle and you can see that the image is inverted. 
let us study about the different types of objects first transparent objects the material through which light passes is said to be transparent material or objects look at the first window when you look through the first window you can clearly see what is present on the other side so such materials are transparent materials translucent object the object through which light passes partially is said to be translucent when you look through the second window we can actually see a blurry picture we cannot clearly see what is present on the other side so such objects are translucent opaque objects the material through which light does not pass at all is said to be opaque objects i hope you have understood this part thank you